Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel and podcast featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Today we're talking about the week ahead, starting with the new moon in Pisces and delving deep into Venus entering Aries, Mercury square Uranus, and all of what you can expect. Now let's dive in. Hey friends, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I am so excited to come to you guys today and talk to you guys about the week ahead, which for the most part, it looks to be pretty dope. Also, happy new moon in Pisces. Did you guys set intentions? I did. I actually couldn't wait until today. I felt so called yesterday to sit by my altar and start working on candles and create and to manifest, to set intentions. And then this morning I woke up, I felt very, very sensitive. I felt very, very in tune, like almost too in tune where I felt overly sensitive by things, but I also felt so called to bring anything that I have in my energy field directly to spirit, directly to the divine. So the first thing I did was I went outside, sat outside in the sun, immediately started praying, setting intentions, calling in the elements of protection and prayer and love and peace, and just sitting with it, absorbing it, and now we're here today, and now I'm talking to you. So that has been my experience. I'm really interested in hearing how you guys have been working with this new moon in Pisces, even though it's already in the works right now, it's only just begun. The energies are really building right now. What have you done so far? What are your feelings so far? What has been the vibe? And also, if you don't know about what the new moon in Pisces can bring and the energy that it's bringing to every single one of us, I have a video that I've uploaded last week that will go over everything for you in detail and I'll link it down below. Having said that guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. I have my astrology chart here pulled up on my MacBook. I also have some tarot cards that I'll be working with. We're sitting in my living room. I've got candles burning, incense, we're ready to vibe. If you guys hear any noise or anything snorting or heavy breathing or snoring, it's Franklin. For those of you guys that don't know, he's my puppy. He kind of moseys around the living room or wherever I'm at, he's at. Nova's locked up in the back waiting for a quieter time to approach and to play because she's still a puppy. So at the time of us talking about the week ahead, it is the new moon that's uh, happening in the sign of Pisces. I have already gone into far detail into what you can expect with the Pisces new moon. So I'm not going to rehash or reiterate any of that. I'm just going to link that down below. However, this week for the most part is going to be very much active. I really get the strong sense that there's going to be a lot of activity, things that have been lying dormant, things that have been, I, I'm hearing right now, things that, have, that you've been praying on, things that you've been setting intention for, you're going to start seeing the works and those things in movement. I'm also getting the strong sense that for many of us, you have had to practice a lot of patience. There's been a lot of patience, and while you are being patient, Spirit, the Divine, has wor been working to give you additional clarity into the bits and pieces that might be, miss be missing from your perspective. Basically, what this is for, like the purpose that it serves for you in your life, is to make sure that all of the details are falling into place into alignment so you know what to expect and that you do have something to be excited for but you also are able to prep and plan for what is coming this feels very positive though it doesn't feel foreboding it doesn't feel evil it doesn't feel malicious it doesn't feel like a burden it's true that the planets right now are still in some pretty tense alignments but for the most part the heavy um, breakdowns have already occurred within like around 2020 and things are starting to even out a little bit but at the same time we're not completely out of the woodwork there's still energies that are breaking down we're seeing that in politics government the environment etc etc but for the most part the heaviness is starting to ease off the pressure is starting to ease off so that will be really promising for many of you guys I think that there's this element of surprise that continues to showcase its its like showcase itself in our day-to-day -day life and experience and I just feel like there has to be some level of surrender surrendering the outcome as spirit the divine is interweaving this web that works for your better betterment for my betterment for all of us 
I get this strong sense that there's this picture that's being painted of the future for our lives and we have some of like an idea but we don't have the specifics and I think that this is where we have to kind of let go of our need to control how this is going to happen, when it's going to happen, in order to embrace the magic of the fact that it is happening, point blank, period. Um, so for those of you guys that have experienced breakdowns in certain areas of your life, whether it be your career, whether it be your relationships, through that breakdown, it has revealed to you that the very things that were breaking down were not things that were sustainable. They were not things like ways of life or ways of doing things that you could have continued to keep up with. So if it broke down, I promise you, the way the planets are aligned, it was definitely set in motion that even though it might have felt good in the moment, or maybe it didn't feel good, but maybe you just didn't want to let it go. Maybe you worked so hard for this. Maybe you want this so badly. Maybe this thing, this person or whatever, it represents something to you. But the truth is, is that from the planets, the way that they're situating, they can see that as much as you are grasping onto it and holding onto it and you'll fight to the death for it, you'll fight for your life for it, the truth is, is that over time, it's not something that is sustainable. It's not something that has longevity. It's not something that is promising. That's not to say that as this falls away, that something new is going to present itself and show up in your life. Because honestly, I'm not going to promise that to you. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm triple Virgo over here. So I always speak the truth. I will always tell you exactly how it is. I'm not going to be someone because I'm not even that optimistic, to be honest with you. I'm a bit of a skeptical and a pessimistic or a realist, if you want to call it that. I'm not going to be someone that promises you that, okay, yes, as this falls away, something new is going to happen that's going to be even better. It's not that this situation is going to be better. It's just that you as a person had to evolve in the process of this thing that you've been holding on to, falling down, breaking down, because... There was a reason why you were holding on to it so firmly to begin to begin with. It represented a part of you, an aspect of you that hadn't healed yet. It represented a part of you that was still stuck in survival mode. It represented a part of you that was okay with being manipulated because you wanted attention or whatever the case is, everyone is gonna be different. So as that thing breaks down, it's not that it's being replaced with something better, it's just that you're, you have been given the space to evolve. What you decide to evolve into is up to you, my love. That's why I can't come on here on the internet and tell you, hanging out with you, that, okay, this is going to be for the better. Ultimately, it's going to be whatever it is that you choose. Do you choose to sit with the divine? Do you choose to sit with your higher self? Do you choose to reflect and say, you know what? I'm not going to hold this against me because I had to go through it in order to understand this about myself, but I'm not also going to continue to show up in this way. And every day, I promise you, every day would have been a battle. Every day you would have to speak life into yourself, affirmations for yourself. It would have been up. It would have been down. Honey, how do I know this? Because I'm your friend, number one. Number two, I see it in the comments. And number three, I see it within the chart. The astrology chart does not lie. The astrology chart tells me everything that is, I need to know about the energies of the environment and the truth is, is that we're all in it. So look to your left and then look to your right and look, look straight ahead. Everybody around us is going through the same thing, the exact same thing. So I, I feel you, we're in it together. And also, side note, I really appreciate the fact that you've been with me along this journey because <laughs> there's been... Oh my God, you guys know I'm private, but like there has been so many growth, moments of growth on so many different levels. I'm grateful for it, but oh my God. So again, we're in the same boat, just dun, 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 like literally paddling through this, just trying to figure it out. There have been a lot of blessings. There have been a lot of lessons and there has been a lot of growth. So if you resonate with that, please let me know down in the comments. But moving forward, guys, I feel like for this week, Venus is going to be entering in the sign of Aries and this is, to me, and as the sun is um, now in the sign of Pisces, this is a sign of things coming to life. We are in the final stages of the astrological zodiac um, season, right? So we're, we're in the last stages. When we see the sun transiting through the sign of Pisces, we are almost, we are at the finish line, guys. We are almost there. What does this mean? This means that a new year, new fresh energy is about to begin throw out your solar return, so throw out your lunar return, 
as a whole, as a collective, we have new fresh energy that is ready to be born, ready to emerge. These little seeds that have been buried in the ground are starting to blossom and grow. I've had a few of my clients in the past um, and still, still to this day, reach out to me and say, Jess, when is it gonna end? When do you see this? And I wanna say that the heaviness and the burden is we're, we're towards the end of it. We are towards the end of it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and energy is going to continue to get a little light. At the same time, we are not out of the woodwork when it comes to our, our own growth. So if I were you, especially at the time of this new moon, I would begin to open myself of course, use discernment with who and what you're working with, but I would begin to open myself to prayer through intentions, through communication with your guides, with your angels, with your ancestors, with the divine. Really sit with them and start to invite them in if you haven't already and say, listen, I'm trying to talk to you, I'm trying to communicate with you, and I wanna be able to hear your voice. I want you to talk to me loud and clear. On the 21st, I do believe that um, you're gonna start seeing uh, some signs if you haven't already. Not only are these gonna be signs of synchronicity, but they're gonna be messages and, and text messages and information, emails, little bits of information that are gonna give you additional uh, enlightenment as far as what's to come and what is occurring uh, in your life right now. But at the same time, you guys, I really want to inspire you to keep that that line of communication open if you can pray every single day set intention every single day talk to your angels and your guides every single day and invite them in and ask them listen this is what I want for myself this is where I'm at at this moment in my life but I also want to continue to be divinely inspired into what it is that you see and have for me because I am so open I am so ready and I am so willing for the positive blessings that's to come at the same time give me discernment give me discernment so I can see what is right for me, what is wrong for me, what path I should go down, what I should clean out of my life, what I should purify, purify out of my life because those energies are also here too. As you are opening up this next chapter, as you're preparing for the next chapter, you're setting the intentions, you know that something is ready and to blossom and to bloom, but at the same time, start communicating with your angels and your guides and say, inspire me, talk to me, what is next? I see this greater vision and a lot of the struggle actually helped me to be able to see that this is something that is I truly want for myself. But at the same time, what does it look like? What do you need from me? What 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 do I need to do to prepare for, for this next new season, this breakthrough that's happening within my life? Venus entering into the sign of Aries. This is happening on the 20th at the same time of the new moon. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to show you and reveal to you Things that you are going to be naturally called and attracted to. You're going to want to start chasing. You're going to start seeing it. But make sure that, again, you're, you're calling in protection. Because, again, the astrology charts will show you the energy. But at the end of the day, you have free will and you get to choose. You get to decide. So if you know that something is going to start pulling you and attracting you and magnetizing you towards it, make sure that it's something that's for your highest and greatest good. And when you work with at your altar, when you work with your angels, and your guides they will work with you to to master discernment to master magic manifestation intentions and all those things okay at the same time that the new moon in pisces is occurring and venus is entering into the sign of aries we also have mercury sextile chiron i want to say to be very cognizant of how you're using your words some of you guys are going to be quick to jump into sharing information you see something you want to run towards it like you're I, it just feels like you're you have an idea you have in, inspiration and you just want to dive into it you'll do I don't want to say whatever it takes but queen of wands just jumped out so you know exactly what you want and also what you want it wants you so at the you're gonna really need to be careful about what you say, what you agree to do, what, I don't know, what you engage in or what you, I don't know if, it, if you're signing a contract, yeah, Hangman is showing up. I don't know if it's necessarily signing contracts right now. It's more like, it doesn't feel like a warning. It just feels 
like an energy read, like read the room. How does the energy feel for you? I wouldn't say yes to everything, even if it feels good in the moment. I would, nor would I say no. I would sit with it a little bit. I would enjoy things for what they are without, yeah, six of wands, without rushing into um, make promises because this is going to be a journey and I just I'm really telling you guys especially that we're entering into Pisces seasons there's going to be a, some twists and some turns and some things that you're going to want to be open to pivoting with Mercury is also transiting through the sign of Aquarius this week so there's a lot of like uh quickness when it comes to okay yeah like that person who's always like yeah I'm on board that you're gonna there's that yes man energy it's not that I don't think that you should jump on to these new ventures or rush or race. I think that working your magic and magnetizing and being a little bit more receptive, especially Queen of Wands is feminine energy, so you want to be receptive, is going to help you to not jump on the first thing that shows up. It's going to give you options so that you can intentionally choose as things show up because they're going there's gonna be a lot of surprises this week good surprises like good there's gonna be options good things to choose good things to feel and to vibe so it's not that I'm saying don't say yes to things or don't be a yes man it's just that let all of the options fall in front of your in front of your face be very really careful about what you're saying yes to um, be intentional with what it is that you're saying yes to and make sure that it's something that feels really, really good for you that doesn't feel like a sense of obligation because that's the other thing. Spirit and the divine is prioritizing joy, pleasure, peace, love, and abundance for you. And with that, this has been showing up a lot in my um, intuitive messages I've just, been, I've just been downloading lately, like wow. Um, there's a sense of purifying and letting, releasing things and letting go of things in order to make space for what's to come. Almost like a spring cleaning of sorts, which technically we're in it right now. Okay. So any adventures, any ideas, any prospects that fall into your lap, because again, Uranus is transiting through the sign of Taurus, which is actively breaking things down. So as things break down, there's little bits and pieces of things that you can pick up and be like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting this here. I'm going to carry this in my bag. I'm going to carry this with me. I'm taking this person with me. As Uranus is sitting directly opposite of the vertex point, the vertex point is sitting in the sign of Scorpio, which is literally saying that something that has died, something that has ended, has now created a, a space for you to reemerge, for you to um, show up like the phoenix, rise up from the ashes. There's a blessing. There's faded blessings to come or faded outcomes from that which has already been left, from that which has already departed, from that which you let go of. Okay, so I hope this makes sense, you guys. I really do try my best to explain um, what it is that I'm channeling, what it is that I'm seeing within the charts. Please let me know down in the comments if this resonates with you. Um, also, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. It's always such a blessing. I've been making a lot of changes on my YouTube channel. I've been making a lot of changes around the apothecary, just kind of changing some branding and stuff like that, um, just to represent, again, the quality and my own personal evolution and growth. And I just want to thank you guys so much, again, from the bottom of my heart for being there with me from start to where it is that we are now. It's been almost seven years or eight years, I'm not keeping track, but it's been a long time. And the fact that I'm still here, the fact that there's longevity, the fact that I have you, the fact that we have each other, it just goes to show again, the quality of the time that is that we're sharing and the magic of manifestation and taking it day by day. And I will never ever forget the blessing that it is that I'm here um, now being able to talk to you, okay? So I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for hanging out with me once again. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this video because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. We were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. 
you'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.